bit going for the ginger guys right there, huh? Blinded by the light, all right, cool. How we doing? It's great to be here. It's great to be here in the city that sleeps early. I love it, it's great. It's great to be here. To the window, to the wall, to the sweat drops down my balls. All these females crawl. All skate, 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 motherfucker. Guys, you realize that Frank Sinatra was born in the wrong era? I'm just saying, he should have been a rapper, guys. You know why? Because he would have the best rapper name. Call him Little Italy. Huh? Yeah, like that shit. Yeah. I was watching a documentary on him, and it said that Frank Sinatra got some of his best lyrics while under the influence of cocaine. Yeah, which makes it, yeah, I, I know. We got some cocaine people in here. All right, cool. I saw, I saw you in the parking lot. Okay, all right, cool, yeah. Which makes a lot of sense, because I can see him taking a big old rip, and he's like, fly me to the moon. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, putos and putas? How we doing? Good, good. What's up? Yeah. For those that don't speak Spanish, right here, it translates to little bitch. That's right. Just kidding. That's my name. <laughs> Guys, I actually want to talk about my dad real quick. My dad's in the audience. Give it up for my dad real quick. Yeah. yeah that's a good guy. He's a funny guy, great guy. The only thing is, I don't like when he drinks. He gets really weird when he drinks. Uh, he's got this theory that John Lennon is secretly Mexican. You know? And he only says that because he's got this song called Strawberry Fields Forever. <laughs> now, for those that didn't laugh, I'll explain it to you. Usually, Mexican people, what they do is they pick strawberries, okay? It's usually in fields, and it's usually... Forever. Forever, forever exactly right, from dusk till dawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another for sure sign that John Lennon is Mexican is that he has multiple baby mamas. So there you go, right there, you know. He's one of us, man. He's one of us. Yes, yes. Yeah. But um, I've, uh, I've been to... Ch uh, are any, any sinners in here? Woo! Woo! That's right. All of you should be raising your goddamn hand. That's right, right here. No, but I've been thinking, church... The only place... The church is basically the place you go to to think about where you're going to go eat afterwards. <laughs> That's all it is. I guarantee you a majority of you in here have, have been in that pew... You know, the priest is talking about the good word. And you're just like thinking to yourself, man, I'm going to fuck up that full rack of ribs when I get out of here. Man. You know what? Fuck that. I'm going to get a bacon burger. Yeah. Extra bacon. Hell yeah. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But I, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's crazy. I mean, it's, it, honestly, going to church is a workout, man. You got to sit. You got to stand. You know, you got to kneel. You got to stand up from kneeling. You know, you got to shake that weird guy's hand that you're trying to avoid talking to, you know what I'm saying? It's bad. It's really, really bad. It's like 80s jazzercise, man. I'm mean, ankle weights, you know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I, uh, I, went to, I went to church more often, and we had this priest by the name of, of, uh, of uh, Pastor Al. Pastor Al. He was a cool guy, a friendly guy, but the only way I could pay attention is by switching Pastor Al to Al Pastor. <laughs> Damn. And I was like, man, is it just me, or does, is, is there some juicy... Al Pastor talking right now, man. Jesus, man. Yeah. I had a good friend by the t uh, at the time named Carmen. I was like, man, Carmen, you sound like Carnitas. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. Um, went to a strip club recently. Or not. I mean, hey, it's cool. I mean, you guys seem like a, guys seem like a California girls type of crowd. I thought I'd try it out, you know? So, But I've been thinking, I've been thinking strippers, how they get their name is pretty mysterious. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one ever talks about how they got their name. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I told you Disneyland had a ride called the Small Boat Ride, would you want to ride that? No, you don't want to ride that. But if I told you what happens at the bottom of a mountain with water and call it Splash Mountain, suddenly you want to ride the shit out of that, right? Am I right? Like, for instance, sir, right here, how you doing? What's your name? James. James? Give it up for James, guys, right here. He's a great sport. James, is this your girl? Okay, oh man, all right. You ever been to strip club? Yeah, you have, hell yeah, you have. I know. Let me ask you a question. What sounds better? Coming to the stage, Barbara, or coming to the stage, big booty Barbara from Burbank. What sounds better? Your girl's right here. 
The first option, you goddamn liar. Okay, so the second option, <laughs> she's like, you lying. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I went to the strip club recently and I got a lap dance from this girl named Bambi. Yeah, Bambi. I was like, how'd you get your name? I made the mistake of asking her. I was like, how'd you get your name? You know, did you, did you grow up on a farm? You know, did you, you know, did you have a pet deer? And she goes, no, it's because both my parents were shot and killed. Yeah. When I tell you flaccid like that, just bam! Bam! Like a shotgun. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I was back. because like, she told me that and I was sitting down and I go... Oh my god, I, I, I felt, do you want to take a seat? She goes, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, well you take a seat. So, so how'd it happen? Oh my god, when you're a four, that's so wild. Holy shit, man, that's crazy. Wow, how old are four, four? Oh my god. How old was your mom? 27? Jesus Christ, man. Oh my god, wow, that's fucking wild. And your dad? 30. Oh my god, you must have been devastated. Shit, man, it's fucking wild. Jesus Christ, you live with your grandma? Oh my god, fuck, Jesus Christ. You wanna take it to the VIP room? No? Okay, never mind. Alright guys, it's been my time, thank you guys so much. My name's been Frankie Xavier Escalante. Keep it going for cash.